my car is like almost 20 years old. So I was already, you know, as a normal single mother would do with an older car, you're checking your gauges, you're making sure everything's good. You are not in the mood to be pushing no car. <laughs> so that's what I did. I rolled the window down, we're driving. I hear like a, just a weird sound. Now I've, I've had a flat tire before. It didn't sound like a regular flat tire. And that's when I noticed that there is just a hole big enough for me to stick my finger in and not touch the side. Y'all don't ever tell me what God can't do. This policeman see me standing over here. My tire was flat and from getting to the house to the store, it completely blew out. My baby got 30 minutes to get to school and this policeman saw me in Waco, saw me and stopped to take help, to take me, to let, to take my baby to school. He did not have to do that to make sure she gets to school on time. I'm riding with her so she can be comfortable. He got the car seat in there and everything. I'm so grateful. On the ride to school, we had, for me, the most amazing conversation just between two people, not like an officer and a citizen or like just between two people. It was amazing. God bless him. It was truly an act of, and I know that police officers, firemen, you know, all types of people do things like this every day and it goes unnoticed. And I understand that, but in my eyes, it showed me him as a person. And that's the way that, you know, my daughter looks at him as well. She still talks about him. She can't say his name, so she'll say like the sheriff, which he's a policeman, but <laughs> she's three. And she'll talk about she'll talk about him and how cool he is. This is just a, a good person. And what's your name? Rosiski. Rosiski. Thank Rosiski. you so much. I really do appreciate oh, it. Okay. Hop on the other side. <laughs> Thank you.